When you think of Trivial Pursuit, you think classic trivia game, right? Well, this version changes that. Hi, this is Jen from TTPM, and I'm here with Hasbro Gaming's new Trivial Pursuit X. And that X means this game just got a bit more adult and a lot more fun. Like the original game, the categories remain the same. There's geography, entertainment, history, arts and literature, science and tech, and sports and leisure. The difference is the topics, while still very much geared toward the intellectual player, can sometimes focus on topics you wouldn't want your kids talking about, or things that any millennial on up is familiar with, but younger kids just won't understand or get the humor in it. But while it's always nice to see an updated version of trivia questions added to this game, it's not the questions that won us over, it's the X Factor. And by that I mean the game comes with an X Stamper, the kind you might get stamped on your hand before entering a bar or an event. Only the purpose of this stamper has nothing to do with a VIP status or being of legal drinking age. It means you're wrong. The game begins with a roll of the dice by the player who most recently did something they shouldn't have. You can roll one of three different symbols. Ask the person to your left, skip the person to your left, or choose any player you'd like to answer. The question master then states the category at the top of the card and reads the question. Okay, this is science and technology. If you look up to a bright blue sky, you should be able to see tiny blue and white dots flashing around. What are they? Light flashes, white blood cells, or air molecules? White blood cells? Yeah. If they got it right, great job. If they got it wrong, out comes the stamper. And a big ol' X goes right <laughs> smack on that um, player's forehead. Super glue? That is incorrect. Either way, that player becomes the new question master. Unlike the original Trivial Pursuit, where the goal is to collect cards to earn points, think What's of it more as a round robin. As the directions say, this isn't so much a game about winning as it is not being the loser. Once a player is marked with five X's, they are out of the game. Play can either continue until one player is left standing, which we personally prefer for a longer game and more stamping, or the game can end after that one player is marked the loser. Is mayor of which city? New York, Cincinnati, or Dallas? Dallas. Incorrect. Cincinnati. Trivial games in general make great classic games to have in your arsenal for parties and get-togethers, but the stamping is what is going to make this a hit with your friends. Trivial Pursuit X is for adults and it's from Hasbro. For more on where to buy and current prices, find us at TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great reviews every day.